नमस्कार सत श्री अकाल बॉन्जूर एंड ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स ऑफ यन टू लर्न वॉट आर यू वंडरिंग वाई डिड आई ग्रीट यू इन फोर डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस वेल दे से लैंग्वेज इज द ड्रेस ऑफ द थाट एंड दिस वीडियो इज डेडिकेटेड टू इधर लैंग्वेज डे सेलिब्रेशन और एनी लैंग्वेज वीक सेलिब्रेशन बी इट इंग्लिश हिंदी फ्रेंच पंजाबी स्पेनिश तेलुगु कन्नड़ एनी लैंग्वेज एनी मदर टंग दैट यू कैन सेलिब्रेट बट बिफोर आई मूव ऑन टू दी एक्टिविटीज आई हैव अ बिग न्यूज फॉर यू वॉट मैरिज नो 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 आई एम ऑलरेडी मैरिड किड्स I already have two lovely kids so it's not about that it's a special big news for the members of my youtube family i am coming up with a new channel of my own which is y2l hindi so specially for those who ask me ma'am aap hindi mein video kyu nahi banate kya aapko hindi nahi aati so this is an answer for you y2l hindi and what best occasion it could be that 14th september hindi divas is approaching and my first video on y2l hindi would be of hindi divas gatividhiyan yes activities based on hindi divas so as you are listening to me right now i use a blend of english and hindi please don't judge me on that but please please shower your love on y2l hindi as well as you have showered on yarn to learn so let's begin with today's video so here i am going to talk about language activities it could be any language day celebration be it hindi day celebration english day celebration french day celebration or you can use these activities for language week celebrations so without ado let's begin with the activities the first activity that you can take is ad mad show the name is very common you know presentation of advertisement but here is a twist that you can add that uh, the students have to present this ad uh, by using a jingle now they can create a jingle they can create a two liner or four liner uh, rhyming poem sort of thing to present and you may take um, any topic for your advertisement it could be any product or it could be any topic related to um, environment for example ad mad can also be done on the topic of pollution uh and the students can present something like let's make a resolution no crackers no pollution so something like that they can build on it so how is it going to help it is going to help children be creative and explore for uh, vocabulary that rhymes and of course they would uh, uh build their content in a manner that they address the topic well and explain it so you can give it as a solo activity or uh, a pair activity or in groups it's up to your wish the second activity for uh, language enrichment could be role play now role play can be taken in uh, different ways first thing that you can do it is that you can ask the children to role play any inanimate object which means a lifeless object it could be anything right from a laptop to mobile phone to sofa to a pen to currency handbag perfume water bottle door television anything so any inanimate object they have to portray so they'll speak as if they are that inanimate object so this will again enhance their um, creative thinking skills and uh, the language that they would use of course would be very different here and it would be a new experience amusing experience for the listeners as well or you can take the role play based on any theme it could be a uh, role play any celebrity role play any leader uh, role play any uh, social influencer a uh, role play any doctor lawyer uh, any of the professions you can take so there is uh, a huge variety in which you can take role play again take it in the language you want if it's a, it's french so take it in french language or if it's hindi take it in hindi if it's english take it in english the third activity is word association game so this is an activity this could be a game now it is not an individual one you can take a group of students or you can take whole class in it so what they have to do um, they have to just say a word uh, you can bound it by uh, any uh, 
part of grammar for example if you are taking it in english you have to tell your students well in advance that you are going to use only nouns which means only naming words for example um, a child said uh, peer then the r comes it's ending in r so other child would say rabbit it's ending in t the third child would say tower like that so the last letter of the word the first child has said this is how it would go so either uh, you can um, number them that whose turn is going to come after that or the child himself or herself can ta take name of the other child like if a said uh, peer so b would say so he would say peer b means this child b's turn is there now so when the child would say rabbit c it means c is uh, now you can replace abc with the names of the children so this is how it would go so you can either tell them to take nouns or you can tell them to take adjectives so they'll only base this word association games on adjectives so they'll learn that particular part of um, grammar part of speech and uh, they'll think about it uh, they'll use their critical thinking as well as creative thinking skills for this particular one let's quickly take one example of adjectives also for example we begin with honest now t uh, tall l lovely so these are uh, these all are adjectives this is how you can build it further don't forget to involve yourself in it and if the grade is small you can just simply take it without uh, any foundation of noun or adjectives the fourth activity is of taking acrostic poem which means that uh, they are going to tr treat any name like an acronym though it is not for example uh, you can uh, give them any words that they can choose from like mother teacher father parents grandparents so that they can define it if they are taking mother they can use it in such a way as it is appearing on your screen m o t h e r or for example team t e a m so this activity would uh, help children to think of uh, the concept of that being for example mother or team in this example and take related words from starting from that particular letter so this is very creative and the best way to celebrate language week the fifth activity is of introduction sounds so simple here it completely the fifth activity is of introduction but in it the child has to introduce his or her peer so they would choose one partner and they'll introduce each other they would not introduce themselves now besides building language learning skills it would also enhance their interpersonal relations with their friends and other classmates so they would introduce the other person in that language for example if it is french so they would give introduction of their friend in french language or uh, and the friend would also do the same for that person so this is how uh, it would be exciting for them to introduce someone else not themselves so these were the five activities five quick activities that you can take for language day or language week and as i reminded you earlier please do check out my new channel y2l hindi and uh, let's build on uh, this um, you know y2l family together and here is the time for shout outs